Hey guys, this is Mr. AJ's Tech here, and uh, today I'm going to show you TweetBot for Mac. Uh, so this is pretty much the first Twitter client that actually supports the Retina Display MacBook Pro, which is the biggest uh, point that I want to point out because I use the Retina Display MacBook Pro, of course. Uh, so I definitely love that, and uh, TweetBot is a very, very popular Twitter client for iOS. Uh, so this is now available for the Mac, and it supports Retina Display for the most part. Uh, so this is an alpha build, so uh, this is actually not even uh, the uh, consumer line, but you can go ahead and pick it up if you have a Mac, uh, available for any Mac, uh, 10.7 or later. Uh, this is currently 10.8, as you can see I have a notification center. Uh, so it runs very well uh, so far. I actually have my Twitter already loaded up here. Uh, so it actually works very well. This is the public alpha release. Uh, you can read more at their blog post. I'll have that link in the description and I'll tell you where to download this. Um, but definitely I love that this is now supporting the Retina display. And uh, this is one of the most popular uh, Twitter clients out there. And now that it's on the Mac, uh, a lot of people are very, very excited. Uh, the reason why I'm so excited is that uh, Twitter as you can see, um, I actually have my resolution on my Retina MacBook Pro uh, set to 1920 by uh, 1200 uh, so that I could rec record this in 1080p. Uh, but even then, you can see that, the, that this Twitter client is a little bit blurry. And when I uh, drop this down to Retina Display, it gets very, very blurry and distorted. Uh, so you can see right there, uh, Twitter is just an epic fail on the Mac. Uh, but when you come over to TweetBot, you can see that everything is HD optimized. A lot of people are talking about uh, that on Twitter. You can see Mark and all these people talking about uh, TweetBot. Uh, but it is available. Uh, you can go ahead and uh, download it. It's somewhat buggy. Uh, that's what they've announced. I haven't noticed any bugs yet. Uh, but you can see right here that it's running pretty well. Uh, we're going to go down here. We can just basically go through all the tabs. You can uh, do pretty much everything you can do on iOS. And then there's also the normal preferences. You can add more accounts and do all that good stuff. So if you want to check this out, there's a link in the description. Um, as always, I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.